Hi guys, this is going to be a little bit of a short one, but I just wanted to say this. Be kind. If you can't like someone, be kind. And just don't be kind to their face. Be kind behind their back. I'm going to be stepping back from uh, being involved with some of the live streams. And the main reason is, is that I need to guard my heart. I'm not condemning anyone else. I am not pointing the finger at anyone else, but I notice a tendency in my heart. That's a dangerous one. That reminds me going back to junior high school where in order to be part of the cool kids club, you join the gang and there's a mob mentality that starts to take place. And I've observed this twice in the last week in some live streams that I was participating in. I wasn't hosting the live stream at all, but in one live stream, it got kind of vicious to be honest. And I am not pointing the finger at anyone, just so you know. I did not openly participate as much as everyone else did, but I felt that emotion to gang up on someone, whether that person justifiably needed to be rebuked for their actions. It was not my place, because number one, in this particular situation, I don't even know the guy. I've never watched one of his videos. I've heard through the grapevine that this is what his channel is about, and it doesn't interest me in any sort of way. And so I haven't watched it. But people who I have admired and who I have appreciated what they have had to say on certain subjects really dislikes this guy. This person who dislikes the other channel, those of you who know what's going on knows what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to name names here. Whether or not this person realizes it, they are a leader. People look up to them and they respect them for what they have to say. I respect what they have to say. And that got me thinking, this person's vendetta, their anger towards this other YouTube channel is infectious. And I see it being carried down. And I'm not saying it's wrong. Well, it is wrong when you've got unforgiveness in your heart. But it's not up to me to judge them because I deal with unforgiveness in, in my heart at times. But that got me thinking, can I be a positive change on YouTube? Or can I be a positive influence? I'm never going to be an influencer. I'm never going to have a super large channel. But I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. And I'm going to be guarding my heart which means that I'm going to be slipping away from some of the streams where I can sense that there are camps established where people are pro this person and people are pro that person because I honestly don't want to go back to junior high. I hated junior high. It was a terrible place for a disabled person with a speech impediment who lived in a very dysfunctional home to be in. And I'm still disabled. I still have a speech impediment, but God's done a lot of healing in my heart and I guard my heart. And I want to be able to bring healing in other people's hearts too. So I'm still gonna be doing my live thing on Tuesday nights. It's a discussion group more than a general chit chat where we do have general chit chat, of course. We always go off on the bunny trails, but it's not an open forum where I invite people to come in and lay down their grievances or have squabbles in the side chat. I won't be allowing that in any way. Yeah, maybe it's not as exciting as so-and-so's mad at so-and-so and look what they're doing in the chat. Woo -hoo. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna do that. So if I lose some of you guys because you won't be seeing me as much in the live chats, that's okay. I'm just gonna press into what I think God is asking me to do. 
And that's all I got to say. I love you guys. Be kind one to another, even as Christ has been kind to you. And forgive from the heart, not just from the lips. And let it show in your attitudes and what you say about other individuals when they're not around.